Hello everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to make a super fun, kinda goofy card that's bound to put a smile on anyone's face. I'm going to teach you how to make bobblehead cards. Not only will we make these adorable animal bobblehead cards, but I'll walk you through making a bobblehead using your own photo, just like this. I just love these bobblehead cards. Aren't they hilarious? Imagining opening up a card to see your loved one, some famous person, or even yourself looking back at you, just bobbing around. I wish someone would send me one of these. I think they're just great. <laughs> so to make these fabulous cards, first you need some cardstock. I've got all the colors listed in my materials list under this video, but you can use whatever colors you like, of course. Next, you'll need a way to cut out your cardstock. I'm using the Cricut Maker 3 in this video, but you can also use the original Cricut Maker, a Cricut Explore series machine, the Cricut Venture, or even the Cricut Joy Extra for the custom version with a photo like this. And if you're just cutting cardstock and no photos, you can make these just cardstock versions on the original Cricut Joy 2. Along with that, you'll need a green standard grip machine mat, a scoring stylus or single scoring wheel if you plan on using the scored version of the card. I also recommend tools like a brayer, a spatula, a scraper, and a weeding tool. We'll use the weeding tool to poke out the tiny bits of cardstock that may get left behind after cutting. You'll assemble everything with some good quality craft glue, like Barely Art Glue, which is my favorite. It works really well. Now, if you're making a customized bobblehead card, you'll also need a printer to print your photo and a sheet of heavyweight matte photo paper like this. Then comes the best part. To make your bobblehead wobble, you will need some self-adhesive wobble springs. They look just like little springs, but they're like plastic, not metal. You'll find the exact link to these springs and everything else I've mentioned below this video over in my tutorial at jennifermaker.com 546. And that's it. Let me show you where to find the free design for these bobblehead cards, and then we will make them together. Step one, get my free bobblehead card designs. First, download the designs at jennifermaker.com slash 546. You can either download right from that link by saving the project or download for my entire free design collection. To find it, look for libraries in the red bar at the top, then click either get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. Search the page for design number 546 and click the link to download the designs. The SVG folder includes an adorable cat card, a cute fox card, and a customizable card to use with your own printed photo. I've included versions of each that require a scoring tool, as well as no score versions that only require your fine point blade and fold on dashed cut lines. I'll show you how to add a head with your own photo to the custom card using the no score version. Now, if you're not sure how to upload files like this, go to jennifermaker.com slash SVGS to learn how to download, unzip, and upload SVG files. You can cut the layers of paper by hand, of course, but it's easier to cut with a cutting machine like a Cricut. I'll use a Cricut Maker 3 in this video, but you can use any cutting machine that uses SVG files. Now, if you'd like to use a scoring tool, be sure to visit jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Scoring to learn how to adjust the file. Step two, calibrate your printer and Cricut for print then cut. If you've never used the print then cut feature on your Cricut, or if it's been a while, be sure to calibrate your machine first. You'll get more accurate results and avoid unpleasant surprises and wasted materials. To do this, turn on your inkjet printer and make sure it's loaded with plain copy paper. In a new Cricut Design Space window, click the arrow next to your name and select Settings, then click Machines. Next to Machine Calibration, select your device, then click Start. Find where it says Get the Most Accurate Cuts for Print Then Cut and click the green Print Then Cut button. Select your printer in the drop down menu and then click print. Once the test sheet is printed, click continue. 
Follow the prompts and place a test sheet on a blue light grip machine mat or a not so sticky green machine mat and then click continue. Select your machine from the drop down menu and then follow the prompts to load and cut your mat. The machine will scan the calibration sheet and make some cuts which may or may not align with the square on the sheet. Don't worry if they're not matching up. This is all part of the calibration process. When your Cricut finishes the cut, do not unload the machine mat. Instead, look at the screen in Cricut Design Space and then compare it to the small square on your sheet that's on your mat. Look closely to see the cut lines. It may be difficult to see, so use your phone's flashlight or better yet, take a photo of the square and zoom in to really see where it cut. Follow the prompts in Cricut Design Space to choose the option indicated by your test sheet and continue calibrating. Your machine may only need one calibration or it may need several rounds to get things right. And that's okay. It's worth the time to get the most accurate cuts. Once your cuts are lining up, your calibration is complete. Your machine mat will eject and your Cricut is ready for action. Step three, prepare and cut your custom bobblehead card. First, you'll need a photo. An image that shows your subject's whole head facing straight forward is going to be the best to work with here. Once you have a photo chosen, you need to do a little prep work on it so it looks good on your bobblehead card. To do this, open your web browser and go to iloveimg.com. Select Upscale Image and then use Select Images to find and upload your image. Under Size Multiplier, select 2x and then click Upscale. On the next screen, click the Download Upscaled Images button. Back at iloveimage.com, select Crop Image. Use Select Images to upload the file that you just downloaded. Click and drag the bounding box corners in so they're close to the subject's head, including their hair. Leave just a little bit of background around the head on all four sides. Click Crop Image, then Download Cropped Image. Open a blank canvas in Cricut Design Space and upload the photo card SVG with no score in the file name, and then add it to your canvas. Now click Upload again and select your upscaled cropped photo. Select Complex for the image type and click Continue. If your background is simple, you can use the magic wand tool to select and remove large sections of it. But if your background is more complex, or if you have, for example, dark hair against a dark background, use the eraser tool for better results. So erase the background, the shoulders and neck as much and as neatly as you can. And don't worry about it being perfect. You can always trim it with your scissors later. You can zoom in if you need to. If you make a mistake, click the undo arrow at the top. Remember that every edge will be cut, so try to eliminate extra shapes like stray hairs whenever possible. You can check your progress by clicking preview cut image in the top right corner. Use this to check if you missed anything that should be erased. Once you have it trimmed as much as you'd like, click apply and continue. Select print then cut image and click upload and add it to your canvas. Now with the lock icon closed at the top of your window, click and drag the photo's bounding box to make the head bigger than the white oval shape, but not bigger than the entire card. I've included clothing options that you can mix and match for your bobblehead character too. Select the design and click the ungroup icon to work with the elements separately. This file comes with a dress, a shirt, and two aprons. There's also a rectangular piece to write a message on that you can glue inside the card. Click on the eye icon in the layers panel to hide the pieces that you don't want to cut. You can change the colors of the skin or clothing to match the color card stack you'd like to use. With an element selected, choose a color from the color box. I'll keep mine the colors they are. And your layers are now ready to cut. With the correct machine selected, click Make. I'll set my print then cut mat's material size to 8.5 by 11 inches because that's the size of my photo paper. Set the other mats to match your materials. 
All of my cardstock is 12 by 12 inches, so I'll choose that. Select the first mat again and click continue. On the make screen, have the image mat selected and click send to printer. Select your printer from the printer dropdown, then toggle on add bleed to create a buffer of ink just in case there's a little bit of a miscut. Toggle on use system dialog too, and then click print. Now your print dialog window is probably hiding behind Cricut Design Space, so minimize it or slide it out of the way to check for it. And there it is. Make sure the correct printer is selected and then change to the highest quality print settings possible. With your photo paper loaded into your printer, click print. Now back in Design Space, keep the print then cut mat selected and set the base material to the medium cardstock setting, which is a similar weight to photo paper. And then change the pressure to more for a cleaner cut. Select Remember Material Settings to apply the paper and pressure setting to every mat since that setting works for the cardstocks too. Place your paper face up on a green standard grip machine mat and use a brayer to make sure it's fully and evenly adhered for the best cut. And with a clean fine point blade in the clamp, load the machine mat and then press the flashing button to begin cutting. When the cut is complete, unload the mat, flip it over onto your work surface, and then roll the mat back to release the paper. If you have any trouble with any of your cuts, check out my Cricut Tips and Tricks for Cleaner Cuts at jennifermaker.com slash blades. And here is my print then cut bobblehead photo. Pretty cute if I do say so myself. <laughs> now use the same settings to cut the cardstock pieces for the rest of your card. A spatula can help carefully lift and remove the small and intricate pieces without curling or tearing them. And here are what all of the cut pieces for my customized photo bobblehead card look like. Step four, assemble your custom photo bobblehead card. Take the main card piece and fold it in half along the dash line. Use your scraper to crease the fold. Glue the large white rectangle to the inside right of the card. This is where you'll write a message. Next, find the body piece and apply some craft glue to the back. Attach the body piece to the front of the card, aligned in the center along the bottom edge. Take the shirt or dress piece and line it up over the body, ensuring that it is facing the correct direction. Then apply glue to the back and attach it to the card. Line the apron piece up correctly over the body, if you're using it, of course, and then apply glue to the back and attach it on top. Take the oval backing piece, apply glue to one side and attach it, centered, to the back of your printed and cut photo. Now take a bobble spring and remove the adhesive backer from the thin part and attach it to the middle back of the oval backer. While holding the assembled photo and spring firmly, remove the remaining adhesive backer from the bobble spring. Line the photo up with the body of your card so it looks like it's connected and not covering up the entire body. Attach the assembled photo bobble to the front of the card, pressing firmly. Give it a gentle shake to make sure everything looks good and your head bobbles. <laughs> Assemble a cat or fox bobblehead card. Here is my cat SVG without score lines on my canvas. You can use these steps for the fox too. There's no preparation necessary here. The design is ready to cut. With the correct machine selected, click make. On the prepare screen, you should have eight mats. Adjust the sizes to fit your materials if needed. With the first mat selected, click continue. Select the medium cardstock setting and change the pressure to more for a cleaner cut. And select Remember Material Settings to apply the paper and pressure setting to every mat. Prepare your first color of cardstock using a brayer to make sure it's fully and evenly adhered to your green standard grip machine mat. With a clean fine point blade in the clamp, load and cut your mat. When it's finished, unload the mat, flip the mat over onto your work surface, and roll it back to release the cardstock. Now lay the pieces out on your workspace with the correct side up. 
This will make for easier assembly later. Refer to your Cricut Design Space Canvas if you need help knowing what is what. Continue on cutting and removing the remaining card pieces. Use a spatula to carefully remove any intricate pieces. Here are what all of the cut pieces for my cat bobblehead card look like. Just like with the custom card, fold the card piece in half along the dash line. Grab the yellow square and apply glue all around the very edges. Take the white window frame piece and apply glue to the cross pieces. Then press the two pieces together. Apply glue to the back of the assembled window frame and attach it to the front of the card, roughly in the center, but slightly closer to the top than the bottom. Take the green piece, the cute little rug, and apply glue to the back. Attach it to the card beneath the window frame, leaving some space between them. Now get the light orange body piece and apply some glue to the back. And align the lighter orange piece to the left and top of the darker orange piece and then press them together. Now get the white chest tuft piece and apply glue to the back. Attach this slightly above the triangle leg cutout on the light orange body piece. Now get the extra tail piece and apply glue to the back and then attach it to the bottom so that it slightly overlaps the body and existing tail shapes. Grab the small white circles, tweezers can help since they're so tiny, and apply a dot of glue to the left center of each one. Attach the brown eye shapes on top of each circle, keeping the white showing through the cutout. Now get the whiskers piece and apply a thin line of glue across the back. Don't worry about gluing the actual whiskers. Gluing the middle part is plenty. Attach the pink tongue and the nose shape to the glue on the whiskers. Now apply glue to the back of the darker orange face piece and attach it to the light orange head piece on the right side. Now let's glue and add the cute pink ear pieces to the ears. Then glue and attach the assembled mouth, nose, and whiskers to our kitty's face. Apply glue to the back of the assembled eye pieces and attach them to the head too. Now let's add our cute cat to the card. Apply glue to the back of the body and attach it to the front of the card so it appears to be sitting on the green rug. Finally, grab the spring. Attach the adhesive from the thin part of the bobble spring and attach it centered to the back of the assembled head. While holding the assembled head and spring firmly, remove the remaining adhesive backer from the bobble spring. Line the head up with the body on your card so it looks like it's connected. Attach the cat bobble to the front of the card, pressing firmly. Finally, take the large white rectangular piece and apply glue to one side. Attach it to the inside right of the card for a clear space to write a message. Step 5. Show it off. And here are my finished bobblehead cards. Aren't they just so fun? And of course, any card you make also needs an envelope. Find out how to make one with my free envelope tutorial at jennifermaker.com slash 373. These are so cute, don't you think? You could send these cards to a loved one, use them as invitations to a party, or just to send a happy hello. Whoever you send them to will love your silly bobblehead card. Now for your envelope. If you didn't resize the card, you could use the envelope from my tutorial. Again, it's over at jennifermaker.com slash 373. If you have any questions about making bobblehead cards that I didn't answer here or anything else craft related that you think I can help you with, let me know. Leave your question below this video or ask over in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. I love to help and see you succeed. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. Mm -hmm.